What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and this is my first video of 2020. Hopefully you guys had a really great holiday season. And this year, I'm gonna give you a little bit of insight on the videos I'm gonna produce later on in this year. Is I'm gonna focus more on electronic repair, installations, and reviewing the latest tech tools, because those are the videos you guys seem to watch and enjoy the most. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, hit that bell notification to stay updated on those videos. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. Let me know in the comment section below what videos made you want to subscribe to the channel so I could continue making those videos for you guys. Now, right here, I have an LG LED TV that has the black screen of death. I fixed this TV over a year ago, but I didn't fix it where it lasted years later. And the reason why I think is because I replaced the individual LEDs on the LED strips. Now, it did fix the TV, and it lasted over a year, but it didn't last long enough for me. I want TVs to last years, not just a year. So, Greg from ShopJimmy.com sent me LED strips to replace on this LG LED TV. But how do I know for sure if the LED strips are bad? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you three ways how I troubleshoot the black screen of death and hopefully this video will help you out and if it does give me a big thumbs up that helps me out so let's go ahead and get started so I'm gonna first plug in the TV and my TV's plugged in and the first thing I check is the standby light on the TV now let's go ahead and zoom in Now this standby light lets me know that there's standby voltage going to the main logic board. The standby light is directly connected to the main board usually. And if you don't have a standby light, whether TV's on or off, that lets you know that there could be an issue with the power board. But because I have a standby light here, I can assume that the power board is working. In most cases, it is. All right, so next, I'm gonna turn on the TV. So. The point of troubleshooting is eliminating possibilities and narrowing it down to one object that's causing the issue, or one part that's causing the issue. So I'm gonna hit the power button. I always use the power button on the TV, not the TV remote. All right, so we're gonna hit the power button now and see what happens. The LED light turns off and that lets you know that the TV is on but you just have a black screen of death now sometimes you'll get a flash on the screen the black light will flash on the screen and turn off immediately and that is an indicator letting you know that there's something wrong with the back light or back lights the led strips basically so if you have a flash on the screen and it turns off immediately that is usually bad led strips in my case from my past experiences but not all the time. Like sometimes you don't get that flash on the screen or you don't notice it. But you have to be in a dark room to notice that. So make sure you turn off the lights and you have the curtains closed when you check that. So now we have no L uh, standby light because the TV's on and no screen. The TV looks like it's still off, right? So next step. All right, using your flashlight on your phone or a regular flashlight you just set it right here make sure the room is dark that you're in and the TV is on then you want to hit the input button and when you hit the input button it should pull up this right here the inputs on the screen see that and then if you hit volume up you should be able to change the inputs I want to change it to TV input. So over here, you'll see the TV input right here. So you want to select that. It'll get dark. And then hit input again, and it should change to TV input. I'm going to show you why in a second. All right, so now you can see there's snow on the screen, and you can hear the audio. 
that lets me know that the main logic board is working pretty good and the TCOM board is working. So because we have an image on the screen, that lets me know the TCOM board is working because that controls the image on the screen and the TCOM board is directly connected to the LCD screen. And because we're hitting the power on and off and the volume and changing inputs, that lets me know that all the logic functions on the main board are working good. And I'm using an anti-skid mat that you usually use for a throw rug. And the reason why is because it protects the, the TV. So sometimes when you slide the TV around on the table, you'll scratch the crap out of the TV. So let's take the cover off now. Turn on the lights. When you take off the back cover, you should have four or three boards. You'll have the power board, the LED driver board, the main logic board, which controls all the logic functions, and the TCOM board, which controls the LCD screen. If you don't see a LED driver board, then it could be it's built into the power board. So you have the power board and then the LED driver circuit is built in onto the power board, and then you have cables going to the LED strips like these and if you remove this tape you'll see there's a cable going right here into the backlight circuit. I'm going to unplug the backlight cable and I'm going to use this special tool right here and this is an LED backlight tester and this is a really great tool to have. I'll leave a link in the video description below but this helps me fix TVs and troubleshoot TVs very fast. And I'll show you how and why. So I got these sharp probes. They're really great for sticking it in the plug. And so I'm gonna put it, I think it's on this side. The white wire I believe is positive and the black wire is usually the negative right there. And now that we have that plugged in like that, now we could check the backlight circuit. At this point, you could turn on the TV. All right, when I turn on the TV, you should hear the audio because we're in antenna mode. And we do. And let me go ahead and I'm gonna tape this down so it doesn't move. I'm using painter's tape right here. All right, and I'm just gonna flip this up. Right here, we'll go ahead and flip that up. So we got the backlight turned on using the tester right here. But we have black bars in the middle. So some of the LED strips are not working. So those are the ways I troubleshoot the black screen of death. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you're interested in videos like this, consider subscribing. Hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. And if you're already a subscriber, of course, let me know why you subscribe to the channel so I could continue pushing out those videos for you guys to stay interested in. Stay tuned for part two to this video. I'm gonna actually replace the LED strips and I'm gonna show you how to update the firmware so this doesn't happen in the future ever again.